Welcome back. This is the 2024 edition, part two. So if you haven't seen part one, you can go back and watch that. So in the last video, we created this list of users, but um, we just display currently just their first name. What I want to do is I want to add some more information to this. So let's go back to our code. And again, we're just, uh, we're just picking up where we left off in the last video. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to my project over there. Make sure you select Android. And then just open up uh, Kotlin Java, and then the first one there. And let's go ahead and right click. Let's go to new. Let's do um, Kotlin data. Oh, we're going to create a new Kotlin data class. So you can select data class, and let's call this. Actually, we'll just do class, and we'll call this person. So this is a regular class. It's currently empty. There is nothing in here. But to change it to a data class, and we could have done that before, but I'm just going to show you. You just put data right there and then change that to parentheses, and then we have our data class. So this is giving us currently an error because uh, we don't have anything inside of there. So let's do this. Let's create a new variable. Let's do val for, uh, first, first name, and that's going to be a string. String just means text like that. Um, there's also other stuff we can do, int, uh, double, but we're going to stick with string for this. Let's do val last name, and then we'll do string as well. And then maybe we'll do, um, we'll do val age, a uh, string is this. We'll change that in a bit. So here's our data class. This data class is called person, and it has a couple of variables inside of there. So to actually use this, Let's go back to our list here, and I want to delete all that. And we're going to create, instead of having strings for our list, we're going to use the data class we just used. So again, uh, sorry about that. I accidentally opened that up. So uh, person, person is what it's called. So list of will automatically infer what type it is. For example, if you start putting numbers, and you'll see that that's actually a list of numbers. But in this case, let's do person. Let's use that and then just select. Um, so you want to make sure you don't select the other two. You want to select the one from our package, the combat example dot RSS reader in this case. So let's click on there. And um, if you want to see what goes inside there, you can just hit command P on your keyboard, first name DJ Malone. And for age, I'm just going to put 25. That's not my actual age, but I'm just going to put in a random number in there. So let's go ahead and save this. And if we were to run it by going to run, run, you'll see it gives us an error. And whenever you get the errors, it'll show you the line number. So it shows Kotlin, um, main activity, the KT line 44. And if you go down here to line 44, you'll see the squiggly line there. So what's going on is we're using our people variable, but our people variable changed from a list of strings to a list of objects or a list of person objects. So um, if we click on there, we'll see, yeah, type mismatch is expecting a string, but we get a person. So let's go down to here and actually let's, let's name this to um, card view. And I want to change it up here as well. We'll call this card view. I just like that better as a naming convention. And so here we go. Yeah. Okay. So let's change this from accepting a string to a person object. And this will actually not work quite yet, but let's also change that to person. And then there we go. It's accepting a person. One more, one more thing. So down here, we just used to have the name, but now we can actually use person. Uh, not quite that, then dot. And then we have access to our age, last name, first name. And again, those are just the same variables we set up there. So let's do person dot. We'll do... Um, first name, why not? We'll start with there. So if we were to run this, I think this should run correctly, but we only have one user. I'm just going to create a couple more just so we have something to work with. Put a comma at the end of the command D to just duplicate that line a couple of times and just to show you that it worked. Um, we'll go here and yeah, there we go. So I want to work on the design a little bit. Let's add some more information in there. Let's create this text. Let's create another text. I'm just going to copy and paste person dot last name and then maybe we'll do something else maybe we'll do um, person dot age hitting tab to auto complete command or control r to run here we go so we have our list and again we created this uh, this row so it's going to put it all on a single line but what i'd really like to do is i'd like to list um, 
the name, the first name, last name, and age all in a column right there. So to do this, we can actually create kind of another wrapper. So we have our card that encompasses everything. Inside of there, our row. But actually, so right here, let's do this. Let's do column and let's put all of this text here. Let's cut that and let's put it inside of this column here. And let's go ahead and just run that for a second. And there we go. So we have it all lined up. So the padding is actually a little bit messed up. So I'm just gonna, for now, just put zero DP in all of those. Just, uh, we were playing with padding earlier. And if we run it, we see we should have all the names there. So what we can actually do is, I want some put a little bit of space at the top there. And so if we go to our first text, our first name, we have zero to P, we can actually do this. We can actually do, I think you do command P to see what works, but we can do top equals uh, then 10.dp. So let's do 16.dp. There we go. So this will, uh, instead of making everything 16, it'll just make just the top 16. And did it lower it? I just wanna, I just wanna put something really high just so we can make sure it lowered it. And I think it did. Yeah, it did lower it a little bit. So let's go back to, let's just uh, command Z, let's go back to 16. So we have that wrapped. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah, I know what else I'm gonna do here. So let's go ahead and go back to here. What I'd really like to do is change this to an int because an age is really going to be a number. And that means um, in, it's just an integer. So um, int, int, capital I, that's how you make it in Kotlin. And then we're gonna get an error here, obviously, because we made it a string. And actually, I'm gonna do that to save some time. I'll make it 25 and duplicate that a couple of times with command D. And if we are to run this, you'll see that we get an error. What's the error? Uh, yeah, so we're actually so so, so um, we're using the person. This changed from uh, what we can do. We'll, we'll just do. We'll cheat a little bit. We'll do um, do. So let me explain what happened. So it's expecting this to be a string, but it's actually an integer now. So let's do this. Let's do age. And then we'll, we'll just kind of um, cat, catenate it in place right there, concatenate in place right there. So that'll say age and then the person's age. Uh, we can't actually, I don't think we can actually just type a number there, it has to be a string. And so this will force the rest of it to be a string and put it together. And there we go, age 25. Last thing I wanna do, I wanna explain some Kotlin filter functions a little bit. Let's go up to the top. So we have our list of people, but let's say we're making an app and you sell alcohol and we have to make sure that the person is at least 21 years old. Let's just say we want to do that just for purposes of, just for an example here. We can do something else. We can filter this list down. So some people might be older, some people might be younger, some people might be 21, somebody might be 20. And we want to filter based on the ages. So let's go, let's create this new space here and let's do this. Let's do people dot filter. Yeah, I think that's what it is, filter. And then let's do, we have access to the IT again. That's just our person object. Then we have age, first name, last name. Let's do where age is more than 21. So here we go. And let's make this a variable. We'll just do it this way, Val. Filtered people. I will do actually people filtered equals um, that. And we're not actually using that, so let's copy that. And let's actually use it in our list there. And I think this should work. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five users there. We're using the filtered one, and we're making sure the age is more than 21. So five users, I think, how many will we see? We see just two. Does that look right? Are just two more than 21? And yeah, that's correct, because just those two are. So we can actually, we have one that's 21. Let's do greater than or equal to 21. So it's filtering out all of the users that are, um, it's filtering in by age. And that's what's helpful when we change it from a string there to an integer. We can actually filter by age. Let's do something else. We can actually, um, this, and this is an if statement pretty much, by the way. It's basically just saying if, if the age is more than, 
is if the age is equal to or more than 21. So let's do and um, it dot first name. Let's do actually no last name equals Smith. So we want to make sure that both the age and also the last name match. So if we run this, we should get zero, I think, because we don't even have a last name with Smith. So let's change a couple of them, Smith, and we'll do one that's actually, we'll change the 10-year-old DJ Smith. There we go. So we should see just one here, I think. So while we have, both of those are Smith, we're also doing the age as well, making sure the age is more than 21. And that would only include, I think, that one. So that's how you can filter. And there are a lot of Kotlin, there are a lot of Kotlin um, functions. You can just do people dot, you can do for each, you can loop through them. You can kind of experiment with index first, you can get last. Um, you just type a dot and you can filter, you can play around. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Not going to go through all that, but that's it for this video. I'll see you. I'll see you. Actually, is that all? I think that's all I was going to cover here. Yeah. Let me go back to the app. Yeah, that's all I'm going to cover here. I'll see you in the next video.